Welcome back to Taz's Way Closet at Wig Studio One. By popular demand today, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, glasses. Now, I don't wear glasses. I have never had to wear any kind of corrective eyewear in all of my life. But for some reason, when I turned 50 years old, <laughs> I all of a sudden couldn't see menus. I couldn't see to read. I got eye strain from my computer and my iPad. So it was time. It was time to get some cheaters, some reader glasses. I had a couple of pair initially from the drugstore. Um, they were pretty gross in terms of style. Um, and I was wearing them so often, like when I went out to look at a menu or just do any kind of reading, that I wanted something a little more fashionable. So I actually found a site online called readers.com. So I've ordered from readers.com a couple of times now, and I have been super happy with the service, the selection, is out of this world. They have tons of colors and designs, anything that you can think of. So on a more practical note, readers.com, they have different powers, like I wear a one and a half to a 1.75 power. They have even higher powers, like seven or so. Um, they have all different kind of frame sizes. You can kind of choose your size. They have bifocals. They have uh, sunglasses readers. They have um, aspheric lenses. They've always been super prompt with their shipping. Their shipping has always been free. I think it's free over $30 or $35. Most of their styles range anywhere from $12 to $25. So that is a little bit more expensive than your typical drugstore, uh, but it's so worth it. I've got these stashed in my purse, in my car. I always, you'll see me wear them in my styling segments for the wig reviews. I have just enjoyed these glasses so much. So here's the, a quick look at the packaging from readers.com. Readers.com, happy eyes, happy wallet. Um, they come with the bubble wrap and all of the ways to make sure that the glasses don't get damaged. And the glasses come in these plastic, kind of plastic wraps here so that the lenses don't get damaged. The arms usually come with some plastic. They have the readers.com tag there. And lastly, readers.com, it appears that they have a really nice returns policy and a money back guarantee. So I'll go ahead and post the link below to the readers.com. I don't, I'm not getting paid for this. They did not send me anything. I paid full price for all of my readers. I look at these glasses now, these reader glasses, kind of like jewelry for my face. Um, I'm always styling when I go out. I've got my favorite hair on. Then I can throw, you know, a, a, a good pair of glasses that go with it. So what I thought I would do is just do a really fun try-on of some different hairstyles, wig styles with the glasses. Now, if you're out there and you don't wear wigs, that's okay because um, face shape and hairstyle may have a lot to do with how you select the kind of uh, frames and design that you like. So the first look that I'm going to show you is what I'm wearing now, which is the Raquel Welch Editor's Pick, a mid-length curly bob style um, in the color RL1723SS. So these are my uh, Sophie Reader glasses in this rectangular frame design. What I like about this rectangular frame design is that you can toggle so easily. So if you're like me and you don't wear uh, corrective eyewear normally, but you need something to be able to read, uh, these are perfect because you can slip them on and you can read, but then if you need to address somebody you know, farther away, you can always look over the top of the rim. So it's easy to toggle back and forth. With a larger size lens, sometimes you need to take them down a little bit in order to see somebody directly. And I love this bright pink color. It just adds a little bit of jewelry to the hair. I'm wearing my Raquel Welch Big Time in the color RL924 SS and it's a pretty voluminous mid-length shaggy style and I'm going to pair that with my glasses today. Now look at those frames. They are uh, more of a cat eye type frame with a leopard print frame on them. These are called the Brit. 
think they're cute and they're fashionable, easy to toggle. So even if you draw the hair back, or tuck it behind the ear, it fits so nicely, and aren't they adorable? So the wig style that I decided to use here was John Renault's Ignite, which is a very cute layered angled bob style. And I'm pairing that with my readers.com style. It's called Flamingo. And I think it's called Flamingo because they're very colorful. A nice resin uh, arm and rim. We've got a pink front, kind of a coral, coral arm there. These are aspheric lenses and they're very comfortable on. They're round frames too, so it kind of has that academic look to it. It fits very nicely between the ear and the ear tab on these. I am wearing, in terms of my little pixie cut here, I'm wearing Martini by uh, Beltras in the color Butterbeer Blonde. And this style of reader glasses is called the Jupiter. I love wearing statement glasses with a pixie cut. And these are what they call brow line glasses, which means the top of the rim usually goes right over the eyebrow there with a bigger, more square or round lens. And I love this yellow color. It's so cute. So again, just a kind of a statement piece. Now these fit beautifully between the ear and the ear tab on this very low density, low permatease style. I'm wearing this beautiful mid-length wavy style by John Renault. This is Heidi in the color Malibu Blonde 12 FS12. Now Heidi has a lot of permatease, volume, and lift. And I love wearing these big brow line glasses with this style. Now these glasses here from readers.com, that was one of the first pair that I ever bought from that company and I do not remember the name and I looked all over the site, they do change their styles all the time. So it's possible that they've discontinued these, but I feel like they're very similar to the Jupiter glasses that I just showed you, although I think the lenses might be a little bigger. And I absolutely love wearing these. I never thought I would like like big frames and stuff, uh, but when you've got a lot of hair, girl, show it off. Here I'm wearing John Renault Evan in the color 12 FS8. I thought I would show you those very same readers that I wore on Heidi on Evan because I love these big, big frames on a short style. I think it's adorable. And on this style, 
uh, there's very little permittees around that ear tab, so it's very easy to place the arm and the glasses between the ear and the ear tab. So I'm back to the little cat eye glasses that I showed you on another style, but I love wearing these also with the longer style wigs. I just love the curvature of these and it's so easy to toggle to look. This is Ellen Villa's Impress in the color Pastel Blonde Rooted. a smart little curly bob short bob style like this i'm wearing sweet talk by gabor in the color shaded uh soft shades buttered toast i think it is and that's gl 1527 ss i do believe and i'm pairing that with these glasses here they're called bookworm that's the name of these if you're looking it up on the site and it has a little round tortoise shell frame and they just look so smart, so bookworm, so librarian. Now Sweet Talk does have quite a bit of permatease um, throughout the wig, but I didn't have any trouble for some reason getting these to slide easily between the ear and the ear tab, and it feels very secure. So I am still wearing those bookworm style uh, reader glasses. This time I paired it with my Renee of Paris at Sonoma in Rose Gold R. This is a wild, very artistic flare kind of a wedged short bob with a heavy angle and some curl. Lots and lots of permatease and volume. Ironically, I didn't have any trouble getting these between the ear and the ear tab. I think the bridge is a little narrower here. Um, um, on these bookworm glasses versus some of them and it just and it just kind of tension holds them on really well. So these glasses are real smart looking and then paired with this very casual Sonoma wig. It just it just gives it a real artistic flair. So for my final look today, I want to bring back Jupiter, which are the large round yellow reader glasses from readers.com. And I'm going to pair that with a mid-length shaggy cut called Stop Traffic by Raquel Welch in praline foil R13F25. And I just love shags with the glasses because all of those layers just really frame the face, kind of like glasses do. It just adds a little bit of jewelry. And here's some other beautiful arm jewelry. This is Neko, the love of my life. So I know that has been a long review, hasn't it? But how much fun is that to be able to try on glasses and hairstyles? It's been a pleasure, guys. Thanks for joining me. Everybody have a beautiful day. See you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.